Project Pegasus features a giant open world environment rich in foliage and other natural detail. In this series, we'll be looking at how, as a small team, we leveraged Houdini to address the challenges associated with creating such a massive environment. And in particular, I'll be diving deep into our landscape related tools and workflows. I'll be covering how we facilitated a collaborative workflow amongst the team and the caching practices that we used that allowed us to avoid stepping too much on each other's toes during production. We'll also be looking at the height field materials workflow that we created, which was a set of nodes that allowed us to mix and blend textures for high fidelity terrain detailing. We'll be taking a look at the ID map based approach that we used that allowed us to ditch traditional weight maps, which sped up our iteration speed, improving terrain performance, and increased the amount of layers that we were able to support inside of Unreal Engine. And finally, we'll be looking at how we added procedural detail and props to our terrain, which align and conform naturally to the terrain's topography, such as twisting paths, rocky slopes, and dense forests. Hopefully, this series will provide some useful insight to both burgeoning and experienced Houdini users, because while the main series will be looking at our workflow and the nodes that we built, We'll also be producing a series of supplementary videos that will go a little bit more in depth behind their creation. If that sounds like your kind of thing, then uh, please keep watching and uh, see you in the next one.